Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about a problem that I faced with uh, while using uh, the LG22 MP68VQ and the LG22 MK600M. Both of these are budget monitors by LG and I've done a separate video about them so if you want to watch that video click on the link on the top right. So I've been using these monitors for about 3-4 months and uh, for what it's worth they are great monitors, they, they produce great colors and they provide you with an overall great experience for what you pay for. But there is a slight catch to that. Now if you're someone who doesn't use the 75Hz mode on the monitor and you're okay with the 60Hz, you don't really use the free sync, then you won't even notice that problem. It only occurs when you switch to the 75Hz mode, uh, also known as AMD free sync. So let's talk about what the problem is. See when I turn on the AMD free sync, uh, I wasn't able to notice anything at first. But after some time of usage, I started noticing some faint lines in the blue colors on the display. I thought it was something like temporary and it will go away after a restart or something. But it did persist and soon after that I started noticing on other colors too like green and yellow but they were not as uh, visible as they were on the blue colors. So my first thought was that it may be a defect in my display but then I thought let's check if there's anything about this problem on the internet and actually there is a forum on Linus Tech Tips that talks about this same problem. So this guy is writing that he's using an LG 23 MP 68 VQ and, and he mentions that when it runs at 75 Hz everything on screen becomes crisp and vertical lines appear on blue colors. So he is clearly facing the same issue. So I realized that it wasn't a defect in my monitor but it was actually a result of LG using a poor quality IPS panel in its budget monitors. Now there was this other guy on the forum that actually illustrated the these lines on Photoshop and they are really accurate to what the actual problem is. So you guys can see what these lines look while you're actually looking at them. Now a lot of other people replied to that forum and they said they have the same problem with their monitors and LG is doing nothing to fix this issue and they are pretty bummed out by the service provided by LG. And I think when you're buying something that's by a trusted brand like LG you don't expect stuff like this to happen. So I think LG should focus on more feasible areas to cut cost on their budget products, not something that can ruin the experience of the user. So I guess if you really want to use the 75Hz mode on these budget monitors by LG and this issue that I just described doesn't bother you that much, then I guess you can go and buy these monitors. They are exceptionally good at everything else that they do but if you do care about this problem then I would suggest you to stay away from these budget monitors by LG. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up. If you loved it subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.